Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. With Star Wars Day coming up, May the 4th, I thought maybe I'd scan BB-8 here with the Revo Point Morocco. What do you think, BB-8? All right, that sounds good to you? That sounds good to you, stick around. I'm Dustin, this is Innovation Creations. For this scan, I'm just going to do BB-8's head. Now we do have a couple challenges here. There's a couple lenses here which it will not scan through um, here and here. And there's some dark colors around um, these parts here, this ring around the top and this ring around the side here. So I'm going to use some scanning spray again and see if we can't get rid of that. on so on this gray ring even though it doesn't look like very much it'll help the scan out quite a bit Okay, let's see how that picks up. I was gonna try using the color scan. Um, the color does not help track, um, I wish it did. Um, so I might have to come back and put some markers on it if this doesn't work since it's um, pretty much a dome. So it may be hard to track it. So let me just go to a screen record here. Okay, so I did end up putting some markers on here because it didn't track very well before. Because um, like I said before, color doesn't help it track. Um, it doesn't see that. So um, it pretty much looks like a smooth dome to the camera. So I put these trackers on here. So on the screen record here, um, we'll go in the settings and we'll change that to marker and hit okay. And then go in here and check this measurement again. We're going to start scanning here with the trackers. Looks like that's tracking a lot better with the, the markers. Okay, let's take a look at it here. Um, there's a little area underneath that front lens. Maybe I can get a good shot of that when it comes back around. Other than that, I think we can get rid of all these extra points and stuff pretty well. So let me get this about in the position and continue the scan here when it comes around. So I think what happened is the spray actually got rubbed. The spray got rubbed off of the lens. I'm just gonna spray that real quick. And then see if we can't pick this back up. Okay. And pause. Then if you look, we, we did get some more data points there. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take this over to the computer and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this model in here on the computer.
and you can see there's a there's a lot of noise but i'm going to show you how easy that is to get rid of um the reason that's like that is because the the surface of the bb8 dome was very reflective so um i have a lot of this noise but we can get rid of that pretty easy here so we're not going to use one click editing we're going to go through and um, go across the top here start at fusion so we're going to lower this to make as many points as we can and if these take very long i'll speed these up okay the point cloud fusion is done and it automatically saved for me so now if you look on the right it gives me these tools available over here to kind of snip some of the stuff off here so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the bottom here <clears throat> It's kind of jittery just because there's a lot of data here and a lot of it we don't need so let's go in here and let's cut a lot of that out at the bottom there okay just rotate this to the top lasso tool here let's do some more here Okay, things move a lot smoother now. Okay, let's go ahead and use this cut tool. Maybe a little bit more. One more time. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go through these. And detection. overlap so down here it says the larger the overlap distance the more overlapping portions so let's just get that a little high got some overlapping apply that uh, smooth it out now I don't want to make this too smooth because I want to try to keep these lines a little bit the best I can Okay, still see those lines. Uh, simplify. It's pretty uniform uh, as far as the design goes. Okay, still looking good. Okay, done with that, let's move on to isolation.
Okay, so it detected the bottom. We're going to choose that. Now we're just going to take this and export it. Okay, we're here in the slicer. So I'm going to first scale this down. Now for this lens that didn't come out, you know, perfect, um, just because, you know, I put that spray on it. So, uh, there's probably a little spot where there wasn't any, any of that coated. So, uh, what we're going to do is we can fix that pretty easy here. Probably see what I'm trying to do here. Just kind of recreate my own little dome here. Let's actually make that smaller. Let's go 40. Sticking out a little too far. Oop. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to connect these two here. Not too bad. Remember, we started with a really shiny surface, so that's it's pretty hard to to scan something like that. So putting those marker dots on there and um, getting rid of all those artifacts, and I think it turned out pretty good. So, guys, please uh, subscribe and like to this channel down below. Uh, helps the channel out. Uh, also check out Rebel Point's website with the link below. Let's print this out and see what it looks like. So how do you think that turned out, BB-8? Yeah, me too. Think we should do some more things like this? That's a good point, but what about BB-8? There could be kids watching. Thanks for watching, guys.